Hey, this is Chris from Bio Scooter. This video is about a very useful product that I found out about not too long ago. It's this little adapter. Uh, what it does is it connects to a 5, 10, 20, etc. pound propane tank. And it's to refill this. So anyone that loves to camp knows that these are really cool because they hook up to your little kitchen. Uh, stove. Uh, if you use a heater, they hook up to the heater. They hook up to little lanterns. Um, they're just very useful. Um, for those of you that go camping a lot, this is a really, really useful product. Why? Because it's only twenty dollars and it refills those little tanks, the one-pound tanks. Um, so let me break it down. Uh, Coleman just threw a brand out there because uh, they're the most common that you find. Well, at least they are for me. I go to Walmart. That's what I see there. Um, they're six forty-four for a two-pack. The prices vary depending on the store, areas, the brand you buy. Each tank is sixteen ounces. When you buy the two-pack, of course, you're getting thirty-two ounces in total. Um, so the 20 pound propane tank, that's the one I have. Um, anyways, uh, there's different types, I just chose that one because that's the one I have. Uh, empty tank will cost you anywhere from 30 to $51. And I put 250 per gallon because um, where I went, that's what it cost. I've seen up to 350 Like I said, it will depend. Um, where you go to, I mean, even if I were to put 350 per gallon here, the numbers would still be ridiculously cheaper than buying the, the Coleman fuel tanks, the one pound tanks, which is called one pound tanks. <clears throat> so here's the math. If you get the most expensive one, $51 for the tank, plus filling it, uh, 4.7 gallons, that's its capacity, or 602 ounces. So. To fill uh, the 20 pound propane tank, it will cost you $11.75 at $2.50 per gallon. How to get that number? 4.75 times $2.50 will give me $11.75. So $51 plus for the tank plus $11.75 for the propane it comes out to $62.75. So out the door, getting it filled will cost you $62.75 with 51 and 250 per gallon prices. It will vary depending on what you go with. Anyways, this will get you five ounces for one dollar, or one dollar will buy you five ounces. With this, one dollar will get you 9.6 ounces. So you can already tell out the door, this is a better option in the long run. So if let's say you spent 6250 here, and if you spend $62.50 here, $62.75 will get you 602 ounces with a propane tank. $62.75 will get you 313.75 ounces with the one pound tanks, which will be a total of like 10 tanks. 10, 20 tanks total because it's 32 ounces, a two pack. So it will get you 20 one pound tanks. Okay, so now let's say you want to, let's um, match 602 ounces on both of these. You would have to spend $120.04, which is, uh, let's round this up to 19 packs. You would have to carry a total of 38 of these guys in your car instead of you know buying a 20 pound or even a 10 pound tank one 10 pound tank which would be like this big this wide it would probably be like four of these and then just carry like one or two extra of these is less bulky than carrying 10 20 of these guys in your car and you know everyone that camps knows that space is super important so that's just with buying the tank itself. So let's say you 
you already ran the tank, you know, now you don't have to worry about buying another tank because all you have to do is go and refill it. Let's say at 250, when you refill it at 250, um, it's gonna cost you 11.75. So when you do the math, one dollar is not gonna get you 9.6 because we're not factoring the price of the tank anymore. We're just factoring the price of the propane itself. You're gonna pay one dollar for 51 ounces. That's 10 times cheaper than those little one pound tanks. So in the long run, for those of you who love to camp and do it really often, uh, especially for you guys out there that go camping um, in the winter when it snows or it doesn't even have to snow, you know, you just hook up your little heater um, or the big ones, doesn't matter. You're going to end up paying a dollar for 51 ounces and I have a Mr. Buddy heater. That thing spends uh, for eight hours, I spend the whole tank. So let's say I go camping for 10 days, I'd have to buy 10 of those. So I'm looking to spend like, what, 30 bucks? No, let's say I spend, uh, yeah, like 62 because I also need some for the kitchen and other stuff. So I'd be spending like 62 bucks instead of spending like, what, uh, 11.75, that's way, way cheaper. And that's just on one trip, you know, that you make in the long run. Let's talk about like all the other trips you're gonna save. You're just gonna spend eleven seventy five, and honestly, you're not gonna. I doubt you're gonna spend that whole propane tank on one trip. So, you know, just to end things, this is twenty dollars. If I were to factor the twenty dollars in here, this let's say would change to whatever it would change in the end. The twenty pound propane tank is paying for itself five or ten ounce the five ounce is more expensive but it's smaller and you know it's a uh, space saver but you know doing all this and then you're still gonna end up paying a dollar uh, for 51 ounces which is way cheaper than that thing you know so you know even if you spend uh, six dollars you're gonna get 650 you're gonna get 32 ounces. If you spend six dollars here, you're gonna get 300 ounces. And and uh, just you know, just so you know the value of your dollar as far as going to get a refilled or buying it. Um, and like I said, if you get a, the cool thing about a 20 pound tank is that you can go to like Home Depot, Walmart, or just a gas station. Uh, and uh, just swap it out. It's a little bit more expensive. It doesn't come out this cheap. It comes out like about $20, $30, depending on where you go. And you're gonna have to leave your tank there for theirs. Or you can just go refill it. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You're gonna save money. So I'll leave the link for this little thing. And I uh, hope you guys have a good one. All right, so real quick, just so you guys see, I'm not gonna do it because the ones that I have aren't empty. I filled them when I got back. Um, so what you do is screw this guy on uh, pretty tight. I used the wrench. I didn't like super torque it down, just enough so you know it's pretty tight in there. And it has to be upside down so the liquid could flow into this. You screw this guy in there. I'm not gonna do it because this is real sensitive. When it touches, it's gonna leak. Anyways, once you put that in there, um, then you open this all the way, and then um, when you do, you're gonna hear it uh, hiss. That's the sound of that going, this liquid going in here. And give it like about, I'd say a minute, a minute 30. Um, once you stop hearing the hissing, then uh, what you do is, while that's on there, you close it, and then slowly start taking it off. Uh, you're gonna get startled, it's fine, because you're gonna hear it hiss, and you're gonna see the actual liquid. Uh, it's not liquid, like it's gonna leak. Uh, 
but you are going to see the gas kind of shoot out right here. It's not like real pressurized, it's going to shoot out, don't worry about it. First time I did it, honestly I was really nervous. But you know, unscrew it, take it off, and then, you know, take this off, you're good. It's as easy as that, in a minute 30, um, you'll have a pretty full tank. Better that than buying another one at Walmart.